hello and welcome to this video on how to create a window that can be placed in a sloping wall. In this example I have placed uh, one of the windows that is located within the VIA template and we can see when we place it in a sloping wall that the window will be placed uh, vertically and the opening will not be made very nicely so we need to create a new window that can fit to a sloping wall so we need to go to the application menu, select new and select family. And from the template list, we need to select the template called uh, generic model face based and click on open. And first we want to add a category for this uh, family and we want to add it um, in the category of uh, windows. So we will just, um, if we go to the create menu and then click on this icon right here and scroll down and select the uh, windows, just close this one and click OK. And then we want to add some uh, reference plans just to uh, draw the outer edge of the window and we can find the reference plans um, under the datum menu and just draw the outer edge and we can always uh, change the dimensions later like this and now we just want to add some uh, dimensions And I just want to make sure that uh, the window is uh, placed uh, equally around the center lines, which we have right here. So I'll just click on this dimension and click on IQ and do the same with the width. And also I want to add a parameter um, for this dimension right here. So I want this dimension to represent the height of the window. So I will add a label. And in here I can uh, select the height and if you don't have the height you can select the uh, add parameter and then type in height and then click OK. And we will do the same with the width. And then it's possible to change the dimensions. Um, let's say I want the width to be uh, 1500 millimeters and the same for the height and I just want to save this um, template to so save as and I want to save it as a family and you can give it a name I'll just call it uh, window and then sloping wall and save it. And now I just want to add uh, some different types. Um, so I will click again, uh, be in modify and then on the properties, I can select family type. And I will click on new. And I will call this window 1500 times 1500 and click OK. And I will create another one, so I'll click on new again. And let me call this one 1200 by 1200 and click OK. And I'll just edit the, the dimension for the width and the height to 1200 by 1200. And click apply and OK. And now we can see that the height and the width has, has changed, so it's now 1200 by 1200. So the next step is to add um, or create an opening. Uh, this box right here represents uh, the wall and now we want to create an opening within the wall. So we will go to the create menu and then select the uh, void forms and select void extrusion. Select the rectangle tool and click on the upper corner and then the opposite corner in the bottom. 
and we want to lock this opening to the reference plans and then accept it and if we open the 3d view then the box on top will represent the opening and the white box right here in the bottom will represent the, the wall and we can see that the opening is actually placed on top of the wall so we just want to um, click on the arrow and then drag it downwards so it will um, penetrate the wall and then we will use the cut geometry tool uh, to create the opening first click on the wall and then on the opening and now we have an opening for the window and um, let's just uh, load it into the project and place it on the sloping wall and we can also place one in the vertical wall so we can see now we have uh, created an opening within the slope wall but we can also do it uh, when we have a vertical wall or another wall with another slope um, so the next step is to add some uh, to add a frame and also the glass to the window and this will be showing in another video